Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, and it's time for another random art vlog. Today I have a toilet paper craft and a card and some pens to share. First, I'll show you a card that I spoke of recently when I was telling you about the Ellen Hudson free downloads. There's this free download of a nurse if you want to make healthcare hero cards to drop off at your local hospital to thank them for taking good care of people through the pandemic. And the curtain that I'm making here is super easy. I'm taking a number two gray and making some flicks and then going in between with a number zero gray. You can use any one of the grays. I think this was either the T's or the N's. I don't remember which. And I made the curtain rod across the top with, I believe, a C5. And just made little tick marks to make the hooks to hang the curtain on. And you can leave your scene as simple as that. Just color the image and you're done. I will add a floor to mine just because I'm an overachiever. You know how that goes. But when I did this on Instagram TV, I wanted to make a person of color. So I added the skin tones, of course, but then I wanted to add more hair to it. And I used my Copic drawing pen, which is a fountain pen. Did not know until recently that they have fountain pens. I don't know if they're new or if there's just the dregs left. And I've only just now discovered them when I did a search for fountain pens and then happened upon Copic ones. So I have some links in the doobly-doo if you want to go see them. They're not really expensive. But there's a few things you'll need to know about them, and I'll talk about that a little bit as we proceed in this video. But the Copic pens, all of the ones that they sell, they come in different kinds of sets. There's some sets that have just some numbers in them, some that have the brush numbers in them, and then, of course, there's the two fountain pens that are sold separately. And this is all the ones that I have but one. There's a number two in there that I cannot find, so... It's missing. It's a wall somewhere in the studio, but I thought I'd swatch them all out so you can see the line weights that you can get from them. And of course, with the brush nibs, you can just press a little lighter and get a little thinner line, that sort of thing. Each one of these, I recommend having a selection of these if you're a stamper and you want to have a line that comports with whatever it is that you've stamped in. So there's some that are going to match up. The elephant that I'm going to be using is is kind of a, about, about a 0.8. So if I want to draw something that matches that, I would use a 0.8. There's some stamp brands where you're going to want a line that's a 1.0. I haven't used the fountain pens necessarily for a lot of my crafting as of yet because they're relatively thin lines. They're more for drawing than they are for matching up with a stamp line. But one of the cool things about these brush markers, even though the Copic markers also have that super brush nib, is that you can get a little more control with them because they're not as kind of fat and floppy as the Copic marker nibs. And it was easier to do those bands at the top and the bottom of this strip. The stamp is from Sunny Studio Stamps and I found a design, an African design online that I mimicked that had these kind of cool, very simple wavy mountains in the background and silhouettes of elephants, and then just a stripe of brown for the ground underneath. It had other things in it. But I wanted something simple to make a belly band for this project that I had in my head. Those are the two brush nibs, by the way, so you can see the difference between them. The belly bands are for rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> when I was at Costco last, I saw they had tons and tons, so I didn't feel guilty buying an extra pack of it to do giveaways to my neighbors, to my sanitation workers, to my mail carrier. I thought it'd be just really fun to make a little decoration around a roll of toilet paper with a little thank you tag on it, just to say thank you. I thought it'd be fun. So I wanted to show you this particular part here because the, these brush markers are not black. You can see how it compares to a Copic 100 black marker. It's just not as black. It's more like a dark gray. So the rest of my elephants I did end up using the Copic marker for, so they would be nice and black. If I didn't have any Copic black marker on this, you wouldn't really think it wasn't black. It's only by comparison that it doesn't look as black. So for the rest of my little project, I'm using two tags, the shipping tags and then these mini little tiny tags for the sentiments. 
to add these little tags to each one of the toilet paper rolls. And I wanted to keep the design simple and yet make them a little more intricate than the whole basic panel was. I mean, I'm making a ton of these, so I don't want to get into too much detail. So I just colored in the whole um, the whole area, but I knew I was going to put a border around it so I didn't have to worry about coloring out to the edge using that medium brush nib to do that. And then I was just trying to figure out how to tie it into the rest of the, the design that it, I had done. I wanted the elephant to remain white so they could see the detail of the elephant this time instead of just the elephant silhouettes. And so I colored in the brown ground on this one again and then decided to use some of the fountain pen for some just doodling in the background. Now as for these fountain pens, I'm just going to say I don't necessarily think you need to have them unless you just love fountain pens and you love drawing things that you can color over top with your Copic markers. Because even though I'm drawing on top of Copic marker with them, you can go the reverse. Draw your picture and then color it in and this ink won't bleed. But I don't find that the ink flows the way it does with my fountain pen. So I like the feel of a real fountain pen best. Uh, much better than these. And you, these are also not refillable. So they're a disposable pen. So once you run out of ink, you run out of ink and that's, that's it. I'm assuming they're as full of ink as other pens that I've gotten from them though, because my, my multi-liners have lasted me forever. I've had them for years and I've, I think I've had one that ran out of ink. So now I'm just going to use some double stick tape to wrap the belly band around the roll of toilet paper. Isn't that funny? I think it's funny and cute. And then I just adhered my tag on rather than tying it on. So I'm going to leave these on top of the garbage cans for the garbage guys. Going to leave some on porches around my neighborhood. Going to be so much fun to give away toilet paper. I hope this video gave you perhaps a couple ideas on how you can use your creative skills to go bless somebody else during this quarantine season. And if you need any Copic marker pens, they're all listed in the doobly-doo. I'll see you guys again next week. Take care. Bye-bye.